In Jackson, section 3.2, uh, Jackson has a discussion on the, the gender polynomials the, about the recurrence formulas. So he said uh, he would use the Rager's formula to derive those formula, although he actually didn't show you how to, how you uh, derive those formulas. And this is not the only way to derive the, the uh, recurrence formula. This other way may be easier like using the uh, using the, the generating function. And even in another way, you can use a series solution to derive this uh, formula also. But uh, you can actually divide the recurrence formula using the Vegas formula. So let's uh, uh, show how to do that here. So we we'll start the uh, discussion using the Rodriguez formula, so PL as a function X is equals to one over two L, L factorial D, DX L, the DL, so it's L derivative of this factor X squared minus one to the power L. And this is the equation 3.16 of Jackson. Okay, so uh, the first recurrence formula Jackson tried to show is, uh, is trying to show this formula. So it's trying to show, so dPl plus one dx minus dPl minus one dx uh, minus two L plus one piece of L is zero. He tried to show that uh, using the Rodriguez formula. So we'll do that, but uh, before we do that, we can check this uh, relation, whether it's true at least for the lowest uh, lowest order X, uh, L. So see for L equals to zero. So L equals zero, PL is just one. So this is just one and now, P, this is one, so P, uh, L is zero, so it's PL plus one is just uh, P1, P1 is just X, so DX, DX is just one minus. The second term is a little bit tricky, you need to redefine, so PL is zero, this is P minus one DX, well, and usually in recurrence formula, when you see the negative index, you will set this to zero, so this will be zero. So P minus one is actually zero, okay? And the third term L is zero, so it's one, and P zero is one, so minus one, that is zero. Okay, so that's a check out. And when L equals to one, okay? The first term is P two, and the form of P two, you can look that up, so. So D D X of P two, P two is, uh, one half of three x square minus this is three x square minus one. So that's P one and L equal one. This is this is uh, P zero. This which is this one. So d dx would be zero. So that would be zero. And then now uh, L is one. This is three. L is one. So this is just x. Okay. And when you take the derivatives. This uh, three half x squared take a derivative, you get three x, and the constant you take a derivative is zero. So three x minus three x is zero. Okay, so at least you check check that out. Uh, at least for the first two of them, first first two L there is uh, correct. Okay, so that's just uh, before we actually doing the try to divide this using the Rodriguez formula. Okay, so now we'll go to the actual derivation. So what we can do is just substitute this formula into the first two terms. Okay, and uh, so to do that, we can now, the first two terms both have a dx, so let's just put the uh, ddx out and then 
the first term is this one to the uh, power of uh, our order L plus one. So let's just let's just write it down. So like the PL plus one minus PL minus one and substitute everything inside here. Okay. And so you have two terms. One is uh, L, L equal, uh, I mean, when you substitute this formula, this L becomes L plus one. So you have two L plus one and then one. And then L plus one factorial. And this DDX, let's just write it this way. Uh, maybe easier to see this. This is DDX L plus one power. Okay, so uh, that's actually when L plus two because you have extra DDX, so it becomes L plus two. This is right. So this one is L plus one, and then you take another derivative, so it becomes L plus two. And this x squared minus one to the L plus one power. So that's the first term. And the second term will be two to the L minus one, then L minus one factorial. Okay, and then uh, DDX. Originally it's L minus one power. So we take another derivative becomes L, then X squared minus one to the L minus one power. Okay, so that, uh, that's this, uh, this first two to up to you substitute the rigorous formula into them. Okay, and this is valid for L, at least for L greater than equals to one. So first we got all this check L equals zero. We start with L equals one, this will become L zero. I mean P sub zero because L start from one. So we define that, so at least uh, this is we define. Okay. Uh, now we, uh, so you have two terms. We can then uh, pull out some common factor. So, because all have these uh, similar factors, so you can pull out a two to the power L. to the L and L factorial. Let's, let's pull this out. I mean, it doesn't have to be this one, so, but uh, it's one way to do it. And this, you have a derivative, so this is a L derivative, this is L plus two derivative, so you can pull out uh, just the D, D, X, the L derivative here. Okay, and now the, the two factor inside so for the first term, because you have put L2 to the L, so the rest is just two, and L plus one factorial, put out L factorial, just becomes L plus one. And then you have a second derivative. And this factor X squared minus one to the L plus one power. Okay, for the second one, you pull out P sub L, so you multiply by two. And you pull out L factorial, so you multiply by L. And all the derivatives are out, so you are just writing down X squared minus one to the L power. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, that's one. And now you simplify the this derivative, okay. So your second derivative, so do it one at a time. So uh, the first one you pull out the uh, L plus one factor, so you cancel this L plus one, so one half d d x. And what is left is, uh, so x, what is left is x squared plus minus one 
to the L power, and then the derivative of two x becomes uh, x squared becomes two x. Okay, and then my the second one just copy it down here. Okay, now you need to do one more derivative. Okay, because uh, this factor, so to copy everything here. Okay, the two actually cancel. This is two x, this is two one half, so cancel. So when you take a derivative, you have two terms. One is L times x squared minus one. And then take the derivative of, of uh, two x, uh, x squared become two x, and then multiply by this x become two x squared. The second derivative is just take the derivative of the x factor, so it's plus x squared minus one to the l power, and minus two l, x squared minus one to the l power. Oh, I forgot, this is x squared l, l minus one power, l minus one. Okay, so. Uh, did, I, did I write down to, so, oh, this is L minus one. L minus one is L. Okay. Um, and that is, uh, that is true. Now you need to simplify everything. So, uh, you have this, uh, you have this x, x square, right? Uh, this x. You can you can uh, like adding an extra term or minus an extra term, minus two in here, and then that become x square two times x square minus one. You can combine with the x square minus one power become x square minus one minus one to the l power. Okay, and then plus the corresponding term. So like what we're doing, so you have two L X square minus one to the L power, basically subtract one, subtract two of times this, the whatever in front, so you need to plus two times x squared minus one times L to L to the L minus one power, okay? And then the rest is the same, x squared minus one to L minus two L, x squared minus one to the L minus one power. Now we see that uh, this one actually cancel with this one, okay? So this one, Cancel with this one. Okay. And the rest of the two terms are the same. So you have two L here, you have one here. So you have two L plus one, X squared minus one to the L power. Okay. And then you compare with uh, this formula, X squared minus one to the L power and then take the L derivative of X and divide it by this factor. That's exactly PL. So that becomes this, uh, 2L plus one times P sub L. Okay, so that uh, that would be this term. So this, substitute this into here, you get 2L plus one times P L. So minus this one, you get zero. So that's uh, how you check the, this equation is correct. Okay, so. So that is the first uh, first that is the first recurrence formula. Then uh, there are uh, so this is uh, this the first formula is uh, equation three point twenty eight. So this is three point twenty eight in Jackson. 
And 3.29, you have three more. Actually, it's just uh, altogether four of them, but the only two of them are in independent. The other two are actually not independent, just different form uh, of the recurrence formula just for you to choose uh, for different situations. You use either one of them maybe easier to use. Okay, so uh, to see how, see how you get those, uh, let's look at the first first of them, of uh, the first of 3.29. To get that, uh, you actually use this 3.28 that we just derived and then also use the uh, Legenda equation. Okay, when you use the Legenda equation, remember Legenda equation is ddx times one minus x square, so one dp l dx. Okay, that one plus l times l plus one p sub l is zero. So that's just the Legenda equation. Okay, now what you do is you use this relation. So use this relation again, the first uh, uh, recurrence formula we just derived. So this one is proportional ddx of the difference between these two terms. Okay, so um, we will substitute that into here. So it's proportional ddx. So everything proportional ddx. So we can pull the ddx out. So the first one would be one minus x squared dp sub l dx. Now the second one, this p l, this one will be divided by this factor. So it's one over this uh, uh, two l plus one. So plus uh, you have this factor l times l plus one divided by two L plus one. And then the other is equals to the difference between the two is a PL plus one times PL minus one. PL plus one minus PL minus one. That equals to zero. Okay, so, um, and then the, because it's equal to zero to whatever in this, inside the bracket, before you do a derivative, it must be a constant, okay? Because it's a constant, then you can evaluate it at a different value of x. And the easiest way would be like x equals to one. When x equals to one, this one minus x squared factor will kill the first term. When x equals to one, all the Legenda polynomial is defined as one. So this is one, this is one. So one minus one is zero. So the constant must be zero. So it means that whatever inside the bracket is also zero. So the constant equals to zero. Okay. So this whatever inside the bracket must be, must be a constant because the derivative is zero, but uh, you value the constant at x equals to one show that the constant is zero. So, so this is, uh, you can consider this another recurrence formula, but uh, we are actually, we'll just transform it to another form. So set this to a constant uh, to, uh, to write it uh, another way. Let's see what we'll do. Uh, let's see what we'll do is uh, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's uh, I mean different way to do it so we can again multiply by. So this one is just, just use the first recurrence formula, get to this one, and then equals to plus this one, right? Uh, 
Uh, well, I mean, because this is constant, you can multiply this to the other side. Uh, okay. Uh, and then this PL, again, using the same, same way, so PL. And multiply the other side to L plus one times PL, you can use the, this equation again. Okay, so that what we can do. So multiply this to the other side and use the same uh, equation again. So what you have is one minus X square and D dx. Uh, ddx of actually it becomes ddx squared, but uh, that's okay. So this pl is just dp, in this case, dpl plus one divided by D, ddx minus dpl minus one dx. So this becomes this one after you multiply two l plus one to the other side and use the first recurrence formula. Okay, and that um, plus L times L plus one, PL plus one minus PL minus one, that equals to zero. And now uh, this one, the first three times you have second derivative, right? And then multiply by one minus X square. Again, you can use the Legendre equation. The Legendre equation, you have one minus x squared times the second derivative of PL. That equals to the, now you operate this on this factor, you get minus two x times dPL dx. And then uh, the third term is L times L plus one dL. So you can move the other two terms to the other side, will we'll give you one minus x squared times the second derivative of dPL dx square. So that is exactly this one. So you use that. So, so you move minus 2x to the other side, you get 2x out. And yet you get the first derivative now. So the, you get the first derivative. So d dx of uh, pl plus 1 minus pl minus 1. Okay. And then uh, move this term to the other side. Okay, so uh, that one uh, is uh, move the other one to the other side will give you. So this one is uh, minus the first one L plus one times L plus two and PL plus one. And the other side of, of the other term would be plus L minus one times L. P sub L minus one. Okay, then, uh, then this one plus L times L plus one P L plus one minus P L minus one that equals to zero. Okay, and now let's see what we have here. What we have here is uh, this one is just like uh, what we have here, so so you can ch use that and change that back to two L plus one times PL. So this is two X, um, two L plus one piece of L. Okay, and now all this you can try to simplify. So you have this L times L plus one and then the, you have this L times L, L plus one times L plus two. So you have L times L plus one, we cancel with this one. 
So what is left is minus two times L plus one. So you have uh, minus two times L plus one, P L plus one. Okay, uh, let's see if I get the correctly. Uh, let's let's do the other one first. So you have a L L minus one times L P L. So you have a minus one. So you have minus you have L square. You have L square plus L minus L square plus L. Your L square minus L. So minus L squared plus L. So that cancel with uh, one of the L squared, so L squared. So you minus L in here, and then another minus is minus two L, minus two L times P L minus one. That equals to zero. So let's see what we have here. Uh, so you all everything have a two, so you cancel the two. You have L plus one times PL. Or we write that so it becomes L plus one times P sub L plus one. And then minus the first term minus two L plus one P sub L. Uh, times x, this x here, so x times p sub l, and then uh, minus or press, because they move to the other side, press l times p l minus one, that equals to zero. Okay, so this is the form of a uh, three point, 29, the first one, okay? So that's the first one. Okay, so uh, we get one of the 3.29. The, the other two are just straightforward to, uh, to derive that. So, uh, Let's see what we want to do it. Uh, so, uh, you got this one. Uh, I mean, there, there are different way to do it. So. Uh, let's let's see. We can actually go back to the the other equation that we just did before to to do that. Uh, or we we can go back to the uh, first equation that we use on uh, one hour of space, maybe. Go to the next page. Just going back to the first relations that we that we try to show is just ddx pl plus one minus ddx pl minus one. That uh, that equals to to L plus one times P sub L. Okay. Now if you want to get which of this PL minus one, we can use the 
the first equation of 329 just we just derived to eliminate PL minus one. So you have DDX PL plus one minus DDX. What we have uh, in the last equation. So the last equation you you have a PL minus one can be expressed into the, the other two. So so you can write like uh, minus. minus L, actually, my, but that's, that's a actually plus, you have a two L plus one over L divided by L and then times X to the PL. So that's the first term and then minus L plus one divided by L PL plus one. That uh, so, so this is this this one is this one using the just the first equation we just derived so this PL minus one change to this one and then minus two L plus one PL equals to zero. Okay, so now all you need to do is to simplify everything so. DDX PL plus one minus, so you take the derivative of, of the, this one, you have DDX, uh, take, the part, take the factor out to L plus one over L. You take the DDX, you have two terms. One is just PL, the other is plus uh, X DPL DX. Okay. And then minus L plus one divided by L dP L plus one dx minus two L plus one P L equals to zero. Now you can group this thing together. Okay, you have this is uh, this is equals to this one has this this is a plus because your minus minus become plus so these two are the same dpl plus one dx so you, you group that together so one plus this one so you have two l plus one over l so you have two l plus one over l dpl plus one dx okay and then uh, the rest uh, you can so uh, so you can group this two together. You have two L plus one, two L plus one, and you write like two L plus one over L factor in front. So you have this one and then both are negative, so you plus another one you divided by L, multiplied by L. So all together, L plus one, L plus one PL, then plus X DPL X, that equals to zero. So you have a uh, both term have two L plus one divided by L, you can cancel that. So and you write that dPL plus one dx and minus x dPL dx and minus L plus one PL that equals to zero. Okay, so this is uh, three point twenty nine, the second the second equation. Okay. I mean, this is uh, not independent on of the, the other two because we are just rearranging the, the first two uh, recurrence formula to get this one. And the first one will be, e, will be similar. Okay, so uh, basically it's uh, basically the same, right? Uh, Uh, 
except that uh, we we are doing it the other way. We get rich of L plus one instead of getting rich of L. So let's see how we do that. So uh, L time. I think we are using the, the first one. So, uh, where do I get this relationship? Like it can. That's in the last page, uh, we, we get that. So, uh, I mean, this, this one is just, ex basically it's the same as the, the last one because uh, uh, we're just moving things around, so. I think this one, we already derived one equation that uh, we can use uh, that uh, last term. We derived this, we call, I call it another uh, recurrence formula that we could use. So this is uh, to L, L plus one term, one minus x squared d p L d x plus uh, L times L plus one pl plus one minus pl minus one, that equals to zero. So last time we, we write it down before we derive actually the recurrence formula. And we could use this one to start our, our discussion of the third one. So, so you have uh, this one, what we want to do is to, in this case is, uh, change this L plus one factor, change this L plus one factor uh, using the other, uh, the other, the other recurrence formula like the first one of uh, 3 point twenty nine. Okay, so uh, the first one of 3 point twenty nine will have, uh, so the first one is, uh, Basically, you have L plus one times P is of L plus one. So you you have this L plus one, right? So times P L plus one. So the other, we we'll keep the other term. So you have two L plus one, one minus X squared, D P L D X, and then plus L. So T L plus one times P sub L plus one using the first equation of 3.29, you get uh, 2L plus one times XP sub L. Okay. And then minus L times PL minus one. So that's changing this to this one. And that the rest is minus L times L plus one PL minus one. That equals to zero. So the rest is just to group all, group all the terms together. Okay, so uh, what you have is uh, this is x times pl. You can simplify the l minus one power. <coughs> you have l times l plus one, and then minus <coughs> minus l square. So you have l square plus l minus and minus l square is so minus two. L square minus one becomes a, okay, so, or you can group the L first. So L and the L plus one plus L, we can two L plus one. So everything has two L plus one, you can cancel the two L plus one factor. You have one minus X square DPL DX the second term becomes plus L times X P sub L. And the last two term combine, cancel with the two L plus one, you get the minus L times P 
PL minus one, that equals to zero. So that is uh, the third equation. Okay, so uh, so all together you have um, all these uh, choices of your recurrence formula. So, and uh, again, of course, these are not all independent and you can actually divide more if you just move terms around. So depends on which one you want to use. Okay, so that's uh, the, all the discussion on Jackson's uh, recurrence formula. So we'll stop here.